in high definition. This is CBS 2 News at 11 p.m. Well, tonight, the families of local rescuers in Japan are waiting for word, wondering if their loved ones are at risk of radiation. CBS 2's Melissa McCarty breaks down the real scope of the radiation threat live from the headquarters of the L.A. County Urban Search and Rescue Team. Melissa. Well, Paul, the rescue team and its 74 members are in Japan, and they have been fielding calls from concerned family members here all night long. Now, I did speak with a medical oncologist who says the greatest concern is low-level exposure over time. Oh, the guys are doing great out there. LA County Fire Captain Brian Cross gives around the clock updates to the families of LA County's urban search and rescue team stationed in Ofunedo, Japan. Each member is equipped with a radiation measuring device on their gear. Dr. Marilou Terpenian, Director of Medical Oncology at St. John's Health Center, says radiation levels aren't high enough for immediate ailments. Short term side effects would take at least a thousand times the radiation exposure that people are Getting. The concern is long-term exposure to low doses of radiation, the amount equivalent to five CAT scans. The long-term side effects based upon the Japanese data from World War II uh, is much lower, um, maybe 10, 20 times the amount, um, so, and that might lead to tumors down the line 20 to 30 years from now. She says long-term risks for cancer seem to be evident for a small population less than 5 to 10 percent exposed. Younger people are at a greater risk. It's a very small increased risk, and I wouldn't want people to think that everyone who's getting this exposure is going to get cancer, but as a population, there will be a slight increase in solid tumors 20 to 30 years later. Among those exposed so far, 17 members on the USS Ronald Reagan operating near the power plant. Its captain said they were exposed to low levels of radiation. Dr. Terpinian says their radiation exposure is less than a chest x-ray. Now, iodine supplements have been handed out to people in the region. I have been told that our local rescue team has not yet taken the supplements because they have not yet detected any radiation where they are. That's the latest for you tonight in Pacoima. Melissa McCarty, CBS 2 News.